Have you ever bought something that needed to be assembled and found that there were no instructions included in the box? Not only is this really frustrating, but it means that you're stuck with a product that you don't really know how to use. Now, onboarding emails work in this exact same way. They're the education, guidance, and instruction for buyers on how your digital products can be used to achieve the greatest possible value from them. All in all, they set your customers up for success. Angel Marie here, creator educator at ConvertKit, here to walk you through the what, the why, and the how behind creating an onboarding sequence that sets your customers up for success. Let's get started. Onboarding is the process a new subscriber goes through right after they sign up for your email list. It can also happen when a customer buys a new digital product from you as well. Now, the moment a subscriber signs up or buys your digital product is not the end, but rather the very beginning of a longer journey. Bridging the gap between that first interaction and first success is critical for building long-term relationships, and it's critical for driving repeat purchases from those subscribers. Now, to create a great onboarding experience for digital products, you'll want to follow these next tips to maximize the value for your digital product customers. Tip number one, say hello. This is an opportunity to introduce yourself and let your customer know you're an actual human being. Send a welcome email that shows off your charm and that starts things off on a really personal level. Use first name variables so you can greet subscribers by their name, thank them for joining your email list, and let them know what you hope they get through your relationship. Here's how creator Jean from Artful Parent does in her welcome email to thank her subscribers for joining. Tip number two, set expectations from the very start. Customers hate being left in the dark, so be transparent and let them know what they can expect from you. Using email onboarding to inform subscribers and your customers about the next steps can really help get them excited and get them even more engaged. Just like how creator Janelle B. Stewart did, where she sets expectations for the content that she sends about growing a blog and eventually turning it into a full-time job. Tip number three, keep subscribers engaged. Use the insights you already have for a customer or a prospect to recommend related digital products or to give them freebies. In doing so, you'll help them find related offerings that can add additional value or build on an existing interest area. Plus, who doesn't love getting free stuff? Bonnie Christine, an artist and textile designer, uses email to promote her work, product, and her courses. You can do that same thing too. When customers sign up, Bonnie will send them access to different freebies to engage customers and increase interest. Number four, learn more about subscribers to deliver a personalized experience. Creating an automated onboarding sequence is simple, but don't forget to provide a personalized experience as part of it. Talk to consumers, ask about their challenges, and gather data so you can address their exact needs. The best and easiest way to find out more about your customer is to simply just ask. Here's how creator Nina Garcia from Sleeping Should Be Easy does it. She gets customers to reply and share important insights by asking them specific questions. Number five, build authority through educational content. The more of an authority you are in the minds of your audience members, the more likely they will believe and buy into what it is that you're teaching them. Using the onboarding process, you can add context on why the subscriber or the buyer should dig into your materials. So for example, creator Austin Church is a freelance writer who leverages email to educate customers. Now, aside from the freelance business blueprint poster and individual worksheets, he also shares educational YouTube videos to help consumers build their freelance businesses. Number six, deliver on promises to build trust. When you say you're going to deliver your product, make sure you're delivering it efficiently and with enough support for your customer to know how to use it well enough. This helps ensure your customer has everything he or she needs and shows that you're invested in their success and that you're rooting for them to do well. Now here's how creator Lacey Dunn, a functional medicine dietitian, does this. She encourages customers to reach out for one-on-one -on -one help or to book a phone consultation where she can deliver highly personalized guidance. And last but not least, tip number seven, help people reach their goals. 
Each time a person decides to subscribe to your emails or buy a digital product, they have a goal in mind. Your job is to put yourself in that customer's shoes and understand what they want to achieve. Now, here's a great example by Colin Gray from The Podcast Host, where he shares his plan with eight topics covered, one per day. He also sets clear expectations by encouraging readers to take action through homework too. Now that we understand the what, why, and the overall tips to creating a great onboarding experience, let's go ahead and walk through how to actually set this up right in ConvertKit. The first thing you'll want to do is head into the Automations tab right at the top. From here, we'll click on New Automation, and then we'll click Create Automation. Next, go ahead and choose the Purchase option as your initial trigger to kickstart this automation. You'll want to choose the e-commerce platform or ConvertKit Commerce if that's what you've used to sell your product, and then choose which product will trigger this automation sequence. Then click Add Event. From here, you'll send a follow-up sequence as your post-purchase onboarding communication. Head to the plus icon to trigger what will happen next once someone purchases. Click Action, and then choose Email Sequence. Type in the name of your newly created sequence and then click Add Action. Once you do, you can head inside the sequence to add as many emails you feel necessary in your onboarding experience. In each email, choose when you want each email to send from the previous action or email, along with switching each email from draft to published so you can be sure that it appears in your subscriber's inbox. Once you've finished, you can continue this automation further by adding additional sequences to upsell a product or maybe sell something they might be interested in, along with targeted future email content with a condition to those that either bought or did not buy your other products. This can help you make more sales, gather feedback, and increase subscriber engagement overall. When you're done with your automated onboarding experience, go ahead and turn the entire automation from paused to on and you are good to go. So you see, creating a seamless and an informative onboarding experience for your digital product can be easy and fun, while at the same time allowing your customers to feel supported all along the way. Now, if you'd like to try this out for yourself, you can head to the link right down below to sign up completely for free. Thanks for watching and keep creating.